Hey guys, welcome to this lesson on how to play the intro to the song Tango Till They're Sore by Tom Waits on guitar. Now, uh, Tom Waits played this on the piano, but I've arranged it for guitar pretty much note for note. Um, so yeah, you can play it on guitar. Uh, now, the song on the recording is F minor, uh, and I played it in the intro in F minor, but the easiest way to play that is capo at the first fret and play it in E minor. Uh, chord shapes are a lot easier that way. Um, I'm going to teach it without the capo, just because some people at home won't have a capo. Um, yeah, so. Uh, now, if we're playing in E minor, the chords to the song, or the chords to the intro are E minor, A minor, uh, B7, down to E minor, and that repeats twice. Uh, now we're going to fret those, well we're going to fret the E minor slightly differently just to imitate what uh, Waits is doing with his left hand uh, to play the bass line. So normally if you're playing an alternating bass line on guitar you'd fret you know, an E minor and you'd play root, octave, fifth, octave. That's the kind of country thing to do. Um, I'm going to fret the E minor slightly differently. So instead of playing, you know, open sixth string and then fret second fret at the uh, fifth and fourth strings, I'm going to fret the second fret at the fifth string, then fret the fifth fret at the fourth string with my pinky. That's the uh, that's the minor third, and then fret the third string with my ring finger at the fourth fret. Yeah, and that's the fifth. So instead of, I'm gonna play it like this. That gives it uh, more of a minor sound, I guess. Um, and it's closer to what Waits would be playing on piano. And then the other chords, I'll fret them just the same, you know. Right, so, and that's what's going to be going on with the thumb. Uh, it's just an alternating bass line. And then with the right hand on the piano, which is going to be your fingers on your right hand, pick out a melody line. Uh, and the reason the, the intro to this song is so cool is because the melody line is so, you know, fucked up. Uh, so part of that is if you play it wrong, it will probably sound you know, a bit more discordant and authentic. Um, but even if you play it the way I transcribed it, it sounds a bit weird. So, uh, yeah, I'll play the, the start for you and then uh, we'll go through it bit by bit. So it starts like this. <laughs> start with that to begin with. So uh, it starts on the and of one. So it's and one. And so the and is this discordant thing of a B and a B flat. So that's the open second string and the third fret on the third string. Play it at the same time and you get this discordant sound. This would be nicer, but this is what way it's plays. Um, and then on the one you're playing the sixth string with your thumb, that's the bass note, and the fifth fret of the first string uh, you know, with your pinky, um, oh sorry, your ring finger, so then down to the third fret of the first string. Now, you're going to have to, this is probably the trickiest thing about the intro, is on that beat two, you want to play, you know, the, the, the minor third and the fifth that we're fretting. Uh, and that's, remember, pinky on the fifth fret of the fourth string and ring finger on the fourth fret of the third string. Uh, and that's 
pretty difficult to get too fast, so you're going to have to practice this slow. Um, so it sounds like... And then you want to get to that... In time to for the second beat where you do your thumb hip for the, uh, the second beat of the bass line. So... And then, after you've done that bass hit on the second beat, you want to play the second fret of the first string. And then, beat three, you play that uh, second fret of the fifth string with your thumb. That's the bass note. That's the fifth. Um, so... Next bit sounds like this. So that's the second fret of the third string. You've just played the second fret of the fifth string with your thumb. And now it's a uh, beat four. So you want to be fretting that bass part again. Remember that's the uh, pinky on the fifth fret of the fourth string ring finger on the third fret of the, no sorry, the fourth fret of the third string. That's the minor third and the fifth. And then also in the melody, you want to be fretting the third fret of the second string. Um, so that sounds like this. So. And now, up to the first fret of the first string. And then finally the second fret of the uh, first string and the open sixth string in the bass. Now you're on beat five. So. Okay, the next bit is this. So that's, you just, on beat five, hit the open sixth string and the second fret of the first string. Now back to the first fret of the first string. And now, because it's beat six, you want to get back to this minor third, fifth thing, and also playing again the third fret on the second string for the melody note. And now, playing the second fret of the uh, third string. And you should play that, you should fret that with your uh, ring finger because you want to be ready to fret A minor on the next beat, so. So that's. And now, uh, this will be beat nine. Now you're on the A minor. So you want to play, well, I'll, I'll play it for you now. So what is that? That is the uh, open fifth string. That's uh, an open A. Uh, so that's your bass note on uh, beat one. And at the same time, you want to play the third fret of the second string. Fret that with your pinky so you can keep holding A minor. And then take it off and play the second string at the first fret. Now you just fretting A minor. Next beat, play your thumb hit. Next beat, play the open sixth string in the bass. Now, that is just the uh, second fret of the third string, you should already be fretting that. And then you take it off and you play at the same time the open third string, because you just took your finger off, and you play the next bass note, that's the second fret of the fourth string. And then you put your, uh, you put your ring finger back on and you just play the second fret of the third string, so. 
Okay, and that's everything on A minor. And then I'll play you the bit that's on B7. So that part is pretty easy. You just want to fret a B bar chord. Um, and the bass for this part will go B, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. That's just a, a first, fifth, 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 first, fifth. That's what your thumb's doing. And then the melody goes like this. Uh, so when you combine that together, it will be like this. And that's everything that's on the B7. Um, I guess it's not really a uh, voice like a B7 there, but... Um, okay, next bit is... And the next bit is back to the E minor chord. And this is kind of a cool run. Um, it's not too difficult and it sounds weird. So what's that? That is the open six string. That's your bass note. And fretting uh, the fourth fret of the third string. So you play those at the same time. Then it's up to the second fret of the second string. And now this kind of run down. So you want to fret the fifth string on the third and fourth strings. So. And now the fourth fret of the third string. Now the second fret of the third and the fifth string, and then the open third string. So that's and now the fourth fret of the third and fourth strings, and finally the open first string. Or if you like the fifth fret of the second string. So really slowly, that's. Uh, and now you're gonna repeat the chords. He actually doesn't play through all the chords of the intro again, which is kind of weird. Um, so that's kind of the first half of the intro done. Um, and yeah, that last bit, I guess, is kind of confusing because it's a piano part, so it doesn't make a lot of sense played on the guitar. But you can kind of see that I was making sure to include something in the bass on every beat and then also play the melody that Waits plays. Um, so what have we done? Next part sounds like this. It's kind of uh, a bit strange, but... So that is open sixth string on its own. Then the open uh, the the second fret of the fourth string, and then because it's beat two, remember this: you want to fret the fifth string, fifth fret of the fourth string with your pinky, and the uh, fourth fret of the third string with your ring finger. So, and then again. You just want to play the second fret of the fourth string. So, and then you want to play the fifth fret of the third string, and also you want to play the second fret of the fifth string at the same time. So, and then. Now that's the 5th fret of the 4th string, 
then the second fret, I'm barring again, the second fret of the third string, and then the fifth fret of the third string. And then you want to play the uh, fourth fret of the third string along with the open sixth string in the bass. So. And then the second fret of the third string. It's beat four, so you want to play that uh, minor third and that fifth. That's the fifth fret of the fourth string with your pinky. Fourth fret of the third string with your ring finger. Uh, so that's. And then the fourth fret of the fourth string. Uh, so that's, uh, let's see. And now you're in A minor, so that's um, the open fifth string and the second fret of the fourth string at the same time. And then you finish it off. See, he doesn't go all the way around again. He just goes. So that's the minor third and the fifth. So fifth fret of the fourth string, fourth fret of the third string, and then the open E string, the open um, first string. And that's it, and then. Tear and tatter, all the, mm, 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 uh, all the hounds begin to roll. Boys all go to hell, and then the Cubans hit the floor. And you're into the song. Okay, so that's obviously a lot to take in. Um, I hope I expressed myself clearly enough during that tutorial. It's all a bit complicated and non standard, some of this stuff. Um, I'll play it through really slowly to finish off this tutorial, uh, so maybe you can recall some of the complexities of this intro. So, it sounds like this. There you go. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not sure if I was super clear with all the details of that, but if you find anything tough, just leave me a comment and I'll get back to you about how to play something. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you got something from it. I think it's a really cool song and I'm just glad it's playable on the guitar because I don't play piano. <laughs> all right, thanks. <laughs>